back to the Ride Podcast. This episode is a bonus episode with Bud Lyon as he breaks down an audio lesson. We hope you enjoy this episode. Today we're going to talk about our grooming program and our some of the equipment that we use or the supplies that we use to keep our horses looking and feeling their best. Um, grooming is a daily maintenance program at Bud Lion Performance Horses and it's something that uh, we take pride in. We want our horses to look and feel uh, as good as they possibly can. So some of the things that we use uh, in order to accomplish that are some of the same things that um, you know everybody uses. We're going to start with a rubber curry mitt or a curry comb if that um, works better. I prefer the curry mitt and before we saddle any horse we're just going to go over and give them a nice curry. Make sure we knock loose all the big dirt or sweat, dust, shavings, anything that might be on there. I'm going to pay special attention to the horse's back and shoulders where the saddle pad and the saddle are going to go. Um, we don't want there being any, any dirt or grime being ground into their skin or into their back that could potentially make them a little back sore or give them some sort of dermatitis. Uh, especially in the summertime, you know, we get a lot of horses who get sweat um, and dust and dirt caked into their hair uh, underneath their forelock or maybe uh, at the base of their mane where the crest of their neck is. So we want to make sure that we go over all those areas pretty well uh, with the curry mitt or the curry comb. Uh, I like to do kind of a circular motion just to kind of knock all the, that stuff loose. It also has kind of a massaging type effect. You can see this horse really enjoys it. So we want to make sure that <clears throat> we go over this horse's entire body everywhere we can. In theory, it's also going to promote, you know, the oils to come out in the coat, make the coat shiny and healthy. So we're going to start with that curry comb or curry mitt and then we're going to go to a soft or medium bris bristle body brush like we have here. And after we've used the curry comb, we're just going to go over the horse everywhere we went with the curry mitt or the curry comb and we're just going to knock all that dust and stuff off. We want to make sure we brush with the direction of the hair. So if the hair is laying from right to left, we're going to brush that direction. If it changes like it can over here by the flank, then we'll switch directions that we brush. But we want to make sure that we get all that stuff off that we just knocked loose with that curry comb. We'll go over their legs, make sure we get any particles off their legs because we know there's a good chance we're going to put some leg protection on there. So we want to get all that stuff off before we put the leg protection on. We don't want any dirt or grime underneath the leg protection causing any kind of dermatitis or irritating the skin in any way once it gets sweaty and hot. After we've used the soft body brush or medium bristle body brush, we're going to go to a mane and tail brush. Um, some people don't like to brush their horses' manes and tails uh, with a mane and tail brush every day. They feel like the, the mane and tail stay longer and thicker and don't break off as much if you use something like this first or mostly to kind of knock the big stuff off, let the hair do what it naturally would. If you are going to use a mane and tail brush, I recommend a wide bristle brush. That seems to prevent, you know, in my experience, the hair from being pulled out or broken off. Um, when you are brushing, if you feel any knots or tangles in there, it's always good to kind of <clears throat> hold the hair a little bit with your hand, kind of maybe pick through it with your fingers first if you need to, just to kind of loosen that stuff up so you don't tear it out. If you're trying to grow a long mane or a long tail, you don't want to break off any hair any more than necessary. When you get back here to the tail, I'll stand on this side. I'm going to stand off to the side here. You see we've got a lot of shavings and hay in this tail right now. And what I like to do is I like to start at the base of the tail and I like to brush from the bottom up to start with. 
And again, I'm gonna hold this tail pretty firmly right here so that we're not yanking and pulling out the hairs from the root or from the base. And we're just gonna kind of move up incrementally one piece at a time. Till we get all the big stuff out of there. And you can see we're collecting quite a bit of shavings, uh, hay, dirt, manure, all kinds of stuff in, our, in the teeth of our brush right now. But that's okay, once we've got kind of all the big knots and stuff like that out, and we're not at risk of pulling any tail out, then we're just gonna kind of fish through it a little bit. Make sure it's clean, make sure it makes it's presentable. The other thing we like to do is uh, we like to shampoo and condition our horses' manes and tails at least once a week. A lot of times we do it twice a week. Um, you know, if it's not too cold, we'll give them a, an entire body bath with shampoo. And then we've got some other products that we like to use, some leave-in conditioners and things like that um, to help, you know, keep the, the mane and tail hair in forelock nice and healthy and uh, allow it to grow as much as it can. One thing that we like to do is we like to make sure that our grooming equipment stays clean and stays uh, as effective as possible. So what we'll try to do like with our curry combs and our curry mitts, you can see this one here, it's got a lot of dirt and dust and grime uh, caked into the bottom side of it. So, you know, once a week or so, we'll, we'll take a hose and maybe some soap to it, or excuse me, take a water and some soap to it and just try to keep it clean and try to keep it new. Uh, that way we're not, you know, uh, leaving any dirty residue on the horses when we go to, to groom them with this. Uh, same thing with the body brush. You can see eventually over time these things will wear out and they'll, um, the hair on the brush, you know, will, will become ineffective or it'll become, um, you know, used and worn out and we'll have to replace the brush. Uh, we kind of do that as necessary. Sometimes that might be, you know, every few months. Sometimes uh, it might be once or twice a year. But uh, occasionally, you know, your brushes will um, extend their shelf life and it'll be time to, to get some new ones. Uh, when it comes to the mane and tail brush, once the teeth start breaking off or uh, they act like they're not, um, they're, they're pulling the hair out or they're not doing their job, then we'll replace these as well. Uh, we also like to make sure that if we happen to get any horses with any dermatitis or fungal issues that we don't use the same brushes uh, on the horses that don't have those issues. So we do try to keep a, a separate set of equipment for horses that might have any kind of dermatological issues going on. Uh, we'll label those so that everybody in the barn knows that those are for those type of horses. And then, um, you know, once uh, we get past those issues, then usually we'll discard those brushes and go buy more. Thank you guys for tuning into this special episode of The Ride Podcast. Stay tuned as we release regular episodes of The Ride. Please let us know how you like this audio lesson by emailing us at horseandrider at aimmedia.com. 